It is the recommendation of the state that your probation be revoked and that custody be returned to the Department of Corrections hey, for the remainder you, of your sentence. You gotta know the difference between a pig and a poor child, man. Check frauds, stolen identity. Even that social security card stuff is dead, man. There ain't nothing you can do with that anymore. I don't cuss, sir, but same to you. Look, I got the Uber Burner account. Check it out. It's a phone that already has a call attached to it. You already got the Jack credit card. Won't you just use that? Because I don't have the card, old man. I got the phone. You stupid. Look, phone calls a car, driver pulls up, then damn. It's all on you. Hey, you got an unsuspected driver with keys in the car, and to be honest with you, probably money too. <laughs> Some people still go around and pick people up. <laughs> Man, didn't I tell you not to come in here and try to hustle my ex-cons? Ain't nobody hustling. I could be my pops for all you know. They ain't your pops, man. Uh-huh. Hey, old man. What's your name? Brown. First name? Abraham. You his daddy? Do I look like his daddy? Look at me. Study me for a second. Don't look past me. Look at me. Maybe you see some things you like. Maybe you see some things you think you can do better. Hi. How's it going? Well, nobody's gonna get hurt. Take a ride. And by the way, since I arrived here from Memphis, brother Alfred and Sister Guyton have been all hospitality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. As a messenger, I can't assure you, but I can inform you. Yeah. Amen, amen. And I want to inform you okay. that it is okay. Amen. It's okay for you to look at me with your honest eyes. The aptitude of your innocence only demonstrates the depths of your fog. So can I ask you, is the tree gorgeous in all seasons? Does it weather in the fall? shrivel in the winter, and procure in the spring, only to be its most prominent and its most glorious season. So I say, look at your neighbor. I said, look at your neighbor, and say, I will love you in the fall. I love you in the fall. Look at your neighbor, and say, I will love you in the winter. I will, I will love, love you in the winter. winter. Look at your neighbor and say, I will love you in the spring. I will love you in the spring. Now, we all know how the summer goes. Yes. 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 Everybody's looking fine. Yes. And we're all loving each other then, right? Oh, yeah. 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 When we're shining and when we're at the top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I beg to you before I leave here today to remember me as that tree. Because if you nourish me with love, I can endure all seasons. 
but you must not cut me down. has fallen from the tree. Young man, we all have fallen. But you can't be scared. Scared of darkness. Scared of not knowing. You know, I'm asking you, who are you going to walk with? Is it man or is it God? <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, man. I, I get so caught up with the word, and you know, I, I actually have to be leaving here soon. God bless you, man. Bless you. Bless Pastor you. Mitchell. Hi, I'm Tina, Ministry Associate Secretary Clerk here at Greater Bethel. Pleasure, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Sister Guyton and Brother Alfred said they really enjoyed your sermon today. Oh, uh, please tell Sister Guyton and Brother Alfred thank you so much for everything. I will, I will, thank you. I have a scheduled ride for you. Okay. I use it all the time. It's called Uber. It's not a taxi, it's more of a ride service. Car should pick you up out front. Tina? Yes, sir. I'm not Tina, but she arranged the car service for me. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Sir, have you heard the good news? No, I'm good. We're just gonna drive you to the airport, if that's okay. <laughs> no problem. No problem at all, sir. Sir, I, I didn't get your name. Brown. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Brown. Now, since we have some time here in the car, I would love to tell you about the good news. All right, what's the good news? That our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ have died for our sins. Now, I'm sure you Mr. may know Mr. that. Mr. Uh, Tina's friend, Look, I don't mean to be rude, but uh, I really don't need no sermon about now. I hadn't heard it all before. Well, Mr. Brown, you have heard it before. But so can I ask you, are you saved? Not exactly. I spent 27 years in prison, and I've seen a lot of men turn to that Bible for answers. Mine is still wrapped in the plastic it came in. I understand, Mr. Brown. I mean, would it be okay if I left some reading material in here before I exit well, the car? You can leave whatever you want. It ain't the driver's responsibility to return lost possessions. No, that's no need to return anything at all, sir. No, you can use these, as, these words as the path to the Lord. Where'd you get that book? Excuse me? That Bible? Whose is it? Oh, oh sir, that's, that's my Bible. Are, are you sure that's your Bible? Yes, sir. It's, it's been passed down for generations. I believe my grandmother received it from her mother, which would make that my great grand. I swear that book is, is, is too familiar. Well, Mr. Brown, it should look familiar. Now, this is the most read book in the world, a number one bestseller at that. No, but I'm talking about that book specifically. Did, did, did your great-grandmama name start with a J? Miss Alfie Joyce. Well, it most certainly did. Are, are you originally from the Memphis area? Wow, man. Now, I, I used to, to, to run, the, run up around there up on uh, Orange Mound. And, and if you was black in, in Memphis, well, well, that's where you was. <laughs> yes, sir, the mound. Now, we've been in Whitehaven for about 20 years, but I do believe Miss Joyce did used to live down in the mound. She gave you that book? Um, well, yes. I mean, it was passed and passed down and probably passed some more. <laughs> Seeing that Bible, that just brings back a whole flood of memories. I, I, I could still see Miss Joyce's face. I never did spend too much time with her because, you know, as old as she was. But I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> That was the prettiest old woman I, I ever did meet. Well, well her, her daughter, that, that's, that's my nana. Did she marry a, a, a boy from, from, from Arkansas? Maybe. That's a lot of my people from Chicot County, so it's quite possible. I know him and nana, they had my, my uncle Booby. Now, that was my mama's only stepbrother. And nana remarried by the time she had my mother, other brothers and sisters. 
This is pretty staggering, young man, don't you think? <laughs> Isaiah 16 says that you will see it and be radiant, and your heart will thrill and rejoice. This is some kind of crazy coincidence. Coincidence, sure. But you said that you've been removed for a long time. So it sounds like to me, everywhere you go, the Lord is trying to tell you something. Okay, um, can you, can you tell me about your, your Nana's uh, daughter? Did, did she have a, a, a daughter named uh, Birdie? <laughs> well, they were the sisters, Foster Shailene, who went by Fawcett, and Lorraine. It's my Aunt Gwen. I mean, I think that was short for Gwenevine. She had a son named Dudley. His little bad self. I heard he poisoned some men trying to mess with his mama. And, and there's my uncle. I think his nickname was Tank. He was a strong brother. I think he was a boxer or something. But I'm, I'm not quite sure if they would have called him Birdie. No, no, I, I mean a daughter. Did, 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 did she have a daughter named Birdie? Uh, uh, maybe a, a aunt? Well, well, that, that's Sarah, but that's my mama. Sarah? That's Birdie. <laughs> Sarah Mitchell. Although I've never heard anyone call her Birdie, though. And I, I, I never knew my pops. Look, do you, do you mind if, I, if we just pull over for a quick minute, real quick? Is everything all right? I do have a flight to catch. I, I, I do have a few questions. I don't mean to insist, sir. I think I need to be arriving at the airport. See, I, I, I've been free eight years, and uh, I stayed out west because as a detainee, a uh, yard bird, a uh, inmate, what have you. You learn real quick that life moves on without you. Phone calls don't get returned. People move on. Anyway, I, since I've been released, uh, like I said, I did 27 years, and uh, that means you probably born in uh, 81, which makes you about 34 years old today, right? And what are you saying, Mr. Brown? I might be your daddy. I have a heavenly father who's seen over me, as I assume you know, for 34 years. Please start the car and continue to the airport, Mr. Brown. Well, this is Isaac Mitchell. I was, I was able to retrieve your, your number from Tina, the one who ordered the car service for me. Yes. Well, I'm calling with what may be considered some good news. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch my flight and make my flight to Memphis, but I was told that I can possibly make the later flight tonight. Which leads us the next four hours to possibly catch up for the past 34 years. Uh, Would you be able to come back to the airport? I, I, see, I got a new client with me right now, so I, I really don't think I could make it back to the L.A. Uh, airport. I understand. You know, maybe things should stay the way that they are. Yeah, yeah well, we'll see what the good news brings has in store for us, huh? Look, if I can make it back by, uh, I'll give you a call. Sounds good. 
God bless. So, uh, Detroit, huh? Man, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yeah, you see the jacket? Yeah, I'm from, uh, I'm from Detroit, man. <laughs> My mama worked the assembly line at, uh, GM for about 41 years, actually. Oh man, I, I used to I used to run around uh, the East Side back uh, back in the day. And uh, <laughs> I think my pops is from like Gasoline Alley area. What? I never really knew him, though. No. Oh man, <laughs> that's some kind of crazy coincidence. Cause I used to run around that assembly line back in the day. <laughs> oh, so you from the D? Hey, come on, man, come on. <laughs> that's crazy. We the voicemail of the Mitchell family. This is Pastor Isaac Mitchell. If you want to need a prayer service, you can hang up and call our prayer line at 738-3369. Or you can leave your burdens out the tone and we will include you in this week's announcements. Thank you. And please keep Jesus in your heart. God bless. Pastor Mitchell? Pastor Mitchell? This is Tina from the church office of Greater Bethel. Are you there? Well, we just wanted to call to make sure you made it home okay. After you called, apparently there was some type of incident with your Uber driver. It's a long story, so I'll spare you. Um, please give us a call back at Greater Bethel. Let us know you made it back okay? Okay? Okay. God bless. Hello? 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 